importing TB through immigration. As we have been uh, working with uh, uh, stealth bacteria like the MRSA staph, uh, which we find uh, rampant among the population, uh, we have also developed the uh, test for uh, drug-resistant TB, DRTB, otherwise known as MR, MDRTB, which means multiple resi drug-resistant TB. Uh, this TB uh, is so bad that they have people locked up in isolation who refuse to wear masks and uh, stay behind uh, the rules of their particular deadly infection. Uh, conceivably, this uh, TB, if it ever took off in the United States, uh, could attack wide segments of the population. One of the uh, uh, means of identifying it uh, uh, among alternative doctors is either the use of uh, electrodermal screening devices uh, like the Vol machine, EAV, Dermatron, etc. Uh, and uh, kinesiologically with quantum matches or vibration frequency matches. It's very easy for us to diagnose this once we have a test kit to find out where it is in the body. TB does not always attack the lungs. It is found in other organs, in the spine, in the bladder, in the ileocecal valve, uh, can be in the gallbladder, etc. Uh, so people looking at the, for the TB with the x-ray alone uh, very often come up short, unless they have a well-developed gold lesion, uh, which says that they have the disease. Now, tuberculosis is divided into infection and the disease. The infection is what we often diagnose, which is the latent infection, hiding in the tissues and not reacting with the blood and the uh, uh, antibody systems. The uh, latent form uh, can become activated uh, by any kind of uh, situation which lowers the immune response, uh, which is basically uh, nutritional causes. All of these bad diseases, uh, somewhere hidden in there is the fact that there's a nutritional deficiency. Now, most of the world knows what nutrition we need and we're elevating those standards readily. Most of the world cannot measure any person whether they're getting enough or not, and that's where they fall down. We have been able to measure this and that's how we discovered our Platinum Plus, the 90% of the world are better uh, is protein deficient or amino acid deficient. That's when their immune system starts to go down and decade by decade they become more and more um, vulnerable to these opportunistic infections and the latent infections develop in their body and these can be activated at any time by a catastrophe such as an auto accident, um, mental stress, uh, death in the family, uh, business stresses, etc., etc., anything that depresses the immune system. So, we recently studied this uh, drug-resistant TB, and we have found in people that have uh, a good amount of illness that they are infected with this. Now, infected is the latent term. Um, it still produces symptoms in these people, and it's a symptom of their vulnerability. Uh, we have uh, really no experience with the interaction of nutrition with this form of the bacteria. Uh, many drugs have not been successful against it. We do know that it can be kept in the latent stage through proper nutrition. And one of these that addresses the protein of the immune system is our Platinum Plus. So we say again, if you think a lot of your health and you understand the threats that are coming against you, which I'm about to talk about for just a few minutes, uh, we suggest that you try our Platinum Plus and get it and stay on it because it is the number one thing that can boost your immune system and protect your life. Now, you don't think your life is in danger? The uh, incidence of the uh, TB uh, cases in the United States among foreign-born people has gone up dramatically. And uh, 
we are going to show you a chart here so you can see what we're talking about. And it's a foreign-born persons in the United States that have the percentage of TV. In 1993, we're talking about only a decade here. This didn't take 50 years to spread MRSA around the world the way MRSA has done. Uh, this has been here. The, the entire population of Europe in the, uh, somewhere around the 17th century uh, is believed to have had TB. 100%. Now, people that come to us from underdeveloped countries or where they have deficient diet and disease is rampant uh, are bringing this into the United States. And if you look at the chart, you'll see that in 1993, the red states, which were California, Oregon, and Washington, uh, versus the blue states across the whole United States, there were, there were no red states uh, east of the west coast. Uh, now, the, the, the red shows 50% or greater, so that means they could have 70 or 80% of infected of these people over there. The blue is 25 to 50 percent, 25 to 49 percent, and look what happened a decade later. The entire West and Southwest is now uh, covered with foreign-born people who have uh, the, the uh, infection uh, TB. Uh, the middle of the country, uh, all the way up into the Great Lakes region, and the whole New England and uh, seacoast, uh, upper seacoast from New England down to Maryland and Virginia, uh, has the, the infection rate of 50% or greater. Uh, it, it's plain logic that we should stop taking these people in that are bringing this disease in. If this disease is activated by any kind of a famine or, or any kind of interruption in the food supply, this stuff could pop out of the box and start wiping out large numbers of the population. Uh, we recommend that you ask your candidates, uh, who are interesting by the way, uh, Huckabee, uh, Huckabee put marble cracks in the marble image of, uh, presidential image of uh, Romney, and uh, Hillary got her pants by Obama. Uh, but these candidates, these leading front-runner candidates now should be asked these questions. It's a simple thing to do a tuberculin test on a person who is applying for immigration to the United States. And we as citizens have the right to keep them out and keep our people strong and healthy. So uh, we recommend that you do that. And why you're doing that we ask that you consider our Platinum Plus and go to supernutrient.com because we're not just a whistling here. We have cleared up more viruses and more bacteria, ordinary bacteria. MRSA staff, we are now handling. Drug-resistant TB remains a question, and we'll have the answers for you somewhere down the line very shortly.